Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing vitamin A and the food sources of vitamin A. So first I'll talk about the non-vegetarian sources, but I will also share, of course, the vegetarian sources in just a moment. So the RDA for vitamin A for men is 900 micrograms per day, and for women, it's 700 micrograms. And this is important to note that vitamin A is stored in the body, so some of these sources, especially these high sources, like number one on my non-vegetarian list is beef liver, has a whopping 6,400 micrograms per slice of vitamin A, and this is the preformed vitamin A. So because it is stored in the body, you don't need to eat these things every day. This will sort of take you over a week or two for your vitamin A status. Number two on the list is lamb liver at 2100 micrograms of vitamin A, which is about 236% of the daily value. Also liver sausage, so liver vorse, I used to eat this as a kid, is at 1400 micrograms per day, as well as salmon. So half a filet of salmon is 229 micrograms of vitamin A. Ghee, which is clarified butter, which I use most days that I am cooking. I love it and using a grass -fed ghee so you can make this yourself from grass-fed butter as well a tablespoon contains 107 micrograms of vitamin A so that is a great source as well cheddar cheese so for all of the cheese lovers out there has about 92 micrograms of vitamin A eggs so in the egg yolk itself this is where you're gonna get your vitamin A from and this has 74 micrograms of vitamin A cream cheese so a tablespoon of cream cheese is gonna give you 45 micrograms of vitamin A and feta cheese so about 10 ounces of feta will give you 35 micrograms of that vitamin A now when we talk about the more vegetarian side of things so the vegetarian sources of beta carotene so these are the carotenoids there's also alpha carotene as well which will eventually convert into that pro vitamin A but again you need 12 carotenoids to make one retinol so uh, that conversion is important and this is why often vegetarians can sometimes run the risk of a vitamin A deficiency because of that conversion and especially if you have compromised absorption and in your digestive tract especially your small intestine if there's leaky gut syndrome then you can run the risk of a vitamin A deficiency because of that poorer conversion to that active vitamin A so here are the vegetarian sources of vitamin A in the diet so sweet potatoes are at top of the list at 1800 micrograms of those carotenoids and that beta carotene per day as well as winter squash so this will give you 1100 micrograms in one serving cooked kale will give you 885 micrograms cooked carrots so a medium cooked carrot will give you 392 micrograms and a sweet red bell pepper so a large sweet red bell pepper 250 micrograms of that beta carotene and one cup of raw spinach will give you 141 micrograms of that beta carotene now if we take a look and you'll see a bit of a pattern happening with the fruits that are high in beta carotene here we see mangoes so medium mango is is 181 micrograms of that beta carotene cantaloupes are 172 micrograms and pink or red grapefruit will give you 143 micrograms of that beta carotene watermelon also will contain beta carotene at 18 micrograms per slice and papaya has 74 micrograms so there you notice the yellow and the red colors are the fruits that contain the most beta carotene but remember that conversion needs to happen happen into that active retinol so this is why again if you are a vegetarian just make sure that you're getting enough so and you have that proper digestive function check out my other video we'll put, share the link below with compromised digestion you may want to you know investigate the leaky gut syndrome so there we have it the best food sources of vitamin a and beta carotene i hope that you learned something new i hope that you're going to incorporate more of these foods into your daily diet to ensure that you don't have a vitamin a deficiency also i'd love to hear from you so please leave it in the comments below if you are eating these if you're not or if you know of other sources of great vitamin a foods also be sure to share this video with your friends and someone that you know who will benefit from this information 
information. Also, please do give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your positive feedback. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and you turn on all notifications by clicking that bell so that you always get my newest and latest video uploads, which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.